Hey there, future home sellers. Welcome back to my home seller series. I'm Jason Hubbard with eXp Realty. Today, we're taking a ride down the road of closing. The grand finale of the real estate adventure. Buckle up as we attempt to unravel the complex world of real estate closings. The real estate closing process is where dreams become deeds, quite literally. It's the moment when ownership transforms from seller to buyer. And let me tell you, it involves a ton of steps. The more prepared for it you are, the easier it is. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's break down the steps that pave the road to closing. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. The first step is contract execution. Before closing comes, lots of signatures have to occur. The purchase agreement, also known as the sales contract, sets the stage. It's the document that outlines the, outlines the terms, the price, the contingencies, and of course, the closing date. Once the contract has been signed by all parties, escrow is then opened with the title card. An escrow officer who is a neutral third party takes the lead, ensuring all conditions are met before the show can go on. After that comes the title search and the insurance. A thorough title search ensures a clean history for the property. And just to add a little more drama, we throw in some insurance to shield the buyer and the lender from any unexpected title issues. The buyer's agent will set up the home inspection after that. The buyer's inspection team swoops in for a home inspection. During the period, the buyer can do any and all inspections they deem necessary. It usually starts with a home inspector, but it can and often does lead to a roof inspection, pest inspection, mold inspections, sewer inspections, whatever the buyer deems necessary. Basically, they can dig as deep as they feel they need to based on the results of those inspections. Negotiations and contingencies could unfold. Once we get past the inspection period, we're looking for the appraisal and then mortgage approval. If financing is in the mix, the lender has an appraiser go out and then conducts a final review of the buyer's file. This is where the lender goes over everything in the buyer's file to make sure that they meet all the lending requirements to buy the home. Once the lender is done reviewing the file, next comes the closing disclosure. Three days before closing, the lender hands over the closing disclosure. This document lists the final terms of the loan, including the interest rate, uh, the monthly payments, and the grand total of closing costs. In those last three days before closing, the buyer completes their final walkthrough. Um, this final walkthrough is done to make sure the property is in the same condition that it was in when they offered on it, and that any agreed to repairs have been completed. Next up comes the closing documents review. At this point, the buyer and the seller will review and then sign all these documents in front of a notary. Sometimes it's at their own house with a notary, sometimes it's in the title office. Depending on your experience, this could take 30 minutes to up to a couple of hours. It's highly recommended to make sure you read these documents thoroughly and ask any questions and make sure everything matches up the way it's supposed to. They are legal documents that'll be enforced once they're signed. These documents include the deed, the bill of sale, mortgage documents, closing statements, and the title insurance policy. Once everything has been signed, next comes the funds transfer. At this point, the buyer provides any remaining down payment money via certified check or wire. No, don't bring your briefcase of cash. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people actually ask this, but the title companies do not accept cash or credit cards. Next, the lender wires over any of the needed funds for the loan. After all the documents have been signed and the money has been received by the title company, the title agent then records the deed and other vital documents with the county recorder's office. It's the official transfer of ownership, a moment that's worth celebrating. 
After this, the title agent notifies the listing agent and the buyer's agents of the recording and any and the buyer's agents will then make sure that the buyer gets the keys and access to their new property. Sellers, you, you want to make sure you're out of there before reporting day. At this point, the home has transferred owners and the title agent will disperse the funds to all the appropriate parties, paying off any existing mortgages and issuing the final closing statements. And there you have it. The road to closing, a roller coaster of emotions, drama, and paperwork. During this time period, both buyers and sellers will experience many ups and many downs, but understanding these steps can help make this an easier experience for everyone. An experienced agent can keep you calm during these ups and downs and guide you through the process. If you enjoyed this journey down the road to closing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for more real estate adventures. Until next time, I'm Jason Hubbard with eXp Realty. Happy home selling.